Hi Blue Class, it's nice to see you. Um, I've been really, really loving all of your pictures on Padlet, so thank you so much for joining in. Um, and I love seeing all the brilliant learning you've been doing at home, so well done for that, keep it up. The story that I've chosen to read today is called This Is Our House, and it's by Michael Rosen and Bob Graham. I've decided to read this story today because I think, you know, we've been spending so much time in our own homes with our um, siblings, so our mothers and sisters, and our families. I'm sure there have been a few times where it's been a bit tricky to share um, our toys or whatever we've been playing with or learning with. And I thought that we could learn from these children in uh, how they find sharing their house. So here we go. This is our house. The first page is just a picture. Goodness, these are big buildings, aren't they? Oh, look. And a lovely playground for all the children from the buildings to play in. George was in the house. This house is mine and no one else is coming in, George said. It's not your house, George, said Lindy. It belongs to everybody. No, it doesn't, said George. This house is all for me. Oh, that's a lovely house, isn't it? I wonder what this you what and what you might think this is for. It's got a dog and everything. Why are we? Lindy and Marley went for a walk over to the swings. Oh, it's not George's house, is it? said Lindy. Of course it isn't, said Marley. Lindy and Marley looked through the window. It's not your house, George, and we're coming in. Oh, no, you're not, said George. This house isn't for girls. Oh, goodness. George does look a bit cross. You can see his eyebrows there are pulled in and his cheeks are red. He looks determined, doesn't he, George? Freddy was walking past with his rabbity. I've come to put rabbity to bed, said Freddy. You can't, said George. This house isn't for small people like you. How that's made Freddy feel. Freddy took Rabbity for a ride in the car. Charlene and Marlene mended the front wheel. George won't let me in and Rabbity won't let me and Rabbity in the house, said Freddy. Oh, he's talking to Charlene and Marlene about how he feels. That's good, because if he does feel a bit sad, it's good to talk to somebody. He's decided to talk to these girls. Charlene and Marlene, Freddie and Rabbity, headed straight for the house. <gasps> I wonder what they're going to do. Stop right there, said George. And he's put his hands out to say stop. if you can tell your grown-ups why do you think George is playing on his own? Why do you think he's not letting anybody else in? And you can have a think with your with your families or whoever you're watching this video with or just to yourself. We're coming in to mend the fridge said Charlene and Marlene. Oh, no, you're not, said George. This house isn't for twins. He's just making these rules up now. Mm. He's got a very bossy voice, hasn't he, George? 
very bossy in voice indeed. I wonder if you can use your bossy voice to say, oh no, you're not. can almost hear it through the camera. Luther's jumbo jet landed in the house. <gasps> Goodness. He went to fetch it. Where do you think you're going? Said George. <gasps> Over. Flight 505 has crashed, said Luther. And I'm coming in for the rescue. Fire, fire. Eey -ya, eey -ya, eey -ya. Mm. <laughs> He's playing, isn't he, Luther? He's playing with his jumbo jet that's landed in the house. You're not coming in here, said George. Surprise, surprise, George isn't letting anybody in again. Oh, look, he's even pushing Luther away. <gasps> Luther radioed for help. <coughs> Calling Dr. Sophie. Calling Dr. Sophie. <gasps> Can I help you, said Sophie. Over, we can't get in the plane, Doctor, said Luther. Leave it to me, said Sophie. Sophie and Luther pushed past the crowds. Make way for the Doctor, said Luther. We're coming in, said Sophie. I wonder how this is going to pan out. They really want to go in and get that plane. What do you think George is going to say? Oh, no, you're not, said George. This house isn't for people with glasses. <gasps> oh, no. That means I wouldn't be allowed in the house. Hmm. These rules, I don't think I like them. I think George is making them up to keep people out. That's not very kind. Rashida had a plan. <gasps> I'm going to tunnel in. She poked her head under the house. Go away, said George. This is my house. Well, said Rashida. This is my tunnel, said Rashida. Well, tunnel somewhere else said George. This house isn't for people that like tunnels. <gasps> oh. Can you see Rashida's facial expression? Can you make the same facial expression? I wonder how she's feeling. To me, she looks a bit shocked. It was getting quite noisy around the house now and hot. And George wanted to go to the toilet. I'm going to leave my house now, said George, and no one can go in it when I'm gone. And you see that bit's written in capitals. That means I know that he's shouting it. He really means it. <laughs> oh, look, and there he is. He's off. George went to the toilet. I wonder if you can spot any tricky words in that sentence that we've learned. That's right. We've got to and the. I you spotted them easily. Lindy, Marley, Freddy, Rabbity, Marlene, Charlie, Luther, Sophie and Rashida. <gasps> You'll never guess what. They went straight into the house. <gasps> Goodness, the house looks like it's bursting. Goodness me. Oh. <gasps> mm -mm. George came back. <gasps> there was no room for George. There's Charlie. She's come up with a good idea. This house isn't for people with red hair. Oh, oh Charlene. Oh, I thought better of Charlene. 
Charlene's now the one making up silly rules. Even though when George made up the silly rule about twins, she didn't like it. She's now doing something that she didn't like. I'm not sure that's the best decision, Charlene. I wonder what's going to happen. George, he must be feeling a bit cross now because he began to shout. George began to cry. I can see his tears coming down. George began to stamp his feet and kick the wall. Oh, goodness me, those are not good things to do, even if you're feeling cross. Then he stopped and he looked. This house is for people with red hair, said George. And then he says, and for girls and small people and twins and people who wear glasses and like tunnels. <gasps> oh, George, great decision. <gasps> That's fantastic. George has made a good decision, hasn't he? Because, shouted Lindy, Marley, Freddie, Marlene, Charlie, Luther, Sophie and Rashida, this house is for everyone. Yay! Oh, look. Oh, if I look at all their faces, apart from maybe Charlene or Marlene, who's falling over, they look so happy. All their smiles on their faces. They're having a cuddle. They're having a real good time. Oh, it's so much better when nobody's getting left out. Oh, look. Oh, and look what's over their play park. A rainbow. <laughs> We've been making lots of rainbows, haven't we? To bring us hope and happiness. Oh, what a lovely story. I hope that you can learn from, who did we have, all the characters. That will be a good little challenge. Can you name all the characters? We've got Lindy, Marley, Freddy, Rabbity, don't forget Rabbity, Marlene, Charlene, Luther, Sophie, Rashida, and George. I bet you remembered all those characters. Yeah, I hope that you can learn a lot from all those characters and, um, and make sure that you're sharing just like they did at the end with your families. <laughs> That's super. Well, lovely to see you, Blue Class, and I'll see you again.